So this is not a video that I saw myself doing again, but because it was requested, I thought, why not? So let's get right into it. One, one. What's up guys, Lupo here, but with another video. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, if not a month, then it's been a while since I've uploaded, but uh, I posted a video entitled Street Photography, and in that video, I simply talked about how one can simply create certain images while taking little simple things and through the edits and of course, whatever you can just have through your imagination, creating something out of that. So street photography doesn't really have a specific uh, form or ground to it. Anybody can have their own definition to it. Anybody can have their own insight on it. But uh, what I try to do is simply have a background and a subject in it, if that even makes any sense. And just putting all these things, trying to put up one form of a story. So in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to create certain pictures that have a bit of a different touch to them. And what I mean is simply... So for example, in this picture, you've got your subject placed right in the middle, great positioning. And one great factor to it is that you don't really have to stress to know what the subject is because just by the colors, you already know what you're supposed to concentrate on. And uh, that makes it really easier for you as a viewer to see what you're supposed to be looking at. At the end of the day, it's simply a great picture. She's simply going to be the one you're supposed to concentrate right on. And sometimes it's quite hard to have uh, your subject being placed out there if you, if the camera that you're using or if the lens that you're using doesn't have a nice bokeh effect to it. If the aperture is just too wide, then you're not going to have that nice focus on the individual that you're trying to focus on. So what I try to do with this edit is uh, just play with the colors. And of course, immediately somebody sees the picture, they will know what they're supposed to focus on. So sometimes you might play with their skin tone, you might play with the color of the clothes that they're putting on, or the equipment that's just right next to them. Sometimes actually just do it with the objects that are next to people, and immediately you look at the picture, you already know what you're supposed to focus your eyes on. And in photography, it's quite important that you already know what the subject is. At the time you look at the picture, you, you're supposed to know what it's supposed to be about. If you don't, a picture already loses credit for that. So these are other examples of what I usually try to do. Wait, check this out. place like this would be a perfect place to take uh, street photography because every every random activity is just happening here and you're able to capture as many as possible to define your story it's simply what you make of it most of the part is with what is going on from the people and you're just trying to create a story for them I think the most disturbing part is just trying to get into people's spaces because at the end of the day everybody's just trying to do their own thing, their own routine. But again, this is only for artistic purposes. I'm not trying to be sneaky on anybody. It's just only disturbing you come into somebody's face and take a picture of them. I mean, that would be probably rude if I would find it rude as well.
right so if you want me to do a tutorial step by step on how i created those pictures just let me know uh the qualities wasn't that good because i was using my my smartphone that is the huawei p20 Lite to uh, take the pictures and also edit it so the, the tutorial is also going to be based on a smartphone you can do all these things just with your smartphone you don't need any computer any complicated software as well uh, yeah, so if you need a tutorial, just comment down below and um, I would definitely do that. I've spent pretty much of the whole day being indoors, so I, I'm starting to feel bad about it. I, know. I might as well just try to enjoy this nice weather. I mean, we, de we definitely don't even have sunshine, so I actually feel bad for staying most of the time in the house. I'm definitely just gonna take some shots outside and uh, take this vlog outside. So, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Übergang zur U-Bahn-Linie 2 zum zentralen Omnibusbahnhof ZB bitte ich hier aussteigen. So I wasn't really too sure of what to do if I was actually able to go outside apart from taking a walk. But maybe I thought it's around 1950, 750 pm and why not go somewhere where I could take a nice view of the sunset. <laughs> just got home it's about 9 28 so i spent approximately two hours being there all right so i'm just gonna end the vlog here smash that like button if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel more content on the way of course uh comment down below what you liked about the video what you'd like me to do especially in the next coming videos i would like to do a variety of videos uh different categories so uh, be sure to let me know what you like what you enjoy the most and uh, i'll definitely make time and space for that i'm definitely delivering for you guys so till next time this has been lupo take care ciao